I got friends, friends in lower places, places. <laughs> where whiskey drowns <laughs> and the beer chases my blues, blues away. This is and echoing. I'll be okay. <laughs> that was the, that was so horrible, man. You were you were like in and out of that. Wow, that that's a horrible Daddy. intro. Am I echoing? No, you're not. All right, well, uh, welcome everybody to our horrible intro, episode three, with Dakota. Episode three, oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I wish this was on Twitch, man. I wish you could see this, but my internet's being shit today. That's all right, at least we can talk. Yeah. We'll get some laughs. Um, you re are you recording? Yeah. All right, cool. But your little brother's going crazy in the background, though. Oh my God, Jesse, you got to stop. Anybody want a little brother? Ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars. That's great. Ten dollar. Ten dollar. Anybody? Ten dollar. No, I'm not making twenty bucks. Twenty. Wow. Right, okay. Hey. 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 Whoa. 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 Stop it. This is gonna make for a horrible video. I hope you know. Oh. What's gonna make it bad? Um, yeah, cool. come here a little bit and play Okay, come on, go play this Oh my god, did you see what he said to me? He said the big boy, he said no. Oh my god. Uh, how do I move this? Wait, this, oh, wait. Oh. I didn't want to move that. Shit, man. So how long does it take to upload videos? Oh, on my internet? A year? Yeah. No, I ain't no way, man. You uploaded that video last night pretty fast. That was on Twitch. I I stream it to Twitch and then you know, you're you're it's going it's it's being saved to Twitch as you stream it. So then they just upload okay. it on their super fast internet. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. It make a big sense. So let's talk about Paula Dean. Paula Dean. Why? Yep, she she's a racist. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds like a year ago, dude. Well, uh, I don't know what else to talk well, we can talk about ISIS. ISIS. Yeah, let's talk about ISIS, man. You know, those doofuses that don't eat pork. They don't eat pork? I didn't know that. Yeah, man, because they're Muslim, dude. They don't eat pork. Uh, makes sense. They'd be like, oh, all I've all said it, but pork is very bad for you. Don't eat it. <laughs> Praise the Allah. <laughs> this is going to make it for a great video. Man, you just gotta be racist and people love you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get you kicked off of being racist, though. Kicked off of what? That was suck. Bro, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I got to kick me off of YouTube. That's crazy. That'd be hilarious. I mean, that wouldn't be funny, but. No, dude. I live. I lose like 50 subs, like three years of work. Come on now. How many subs do you have right now, man? Like 48.50, I think. That's not bad. No, no, no. It's gotta get busy. Alright, that's it. I'm going outside. Yes, please do. No, no, no. You're not going. I'm sitting on the front porch. <laughs> then you have to get out. What? How did you see me? This guy. Okay. Come on. No. 
I'm going outside, you're not. Pop this head. Caution. We have a caution, everybody. I didn't back up. Hey. Yeah. Hey, I'm unplugging you from this thing, so it's gonna cut out real fast. All right. All right. All right. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right. I'm going outside. Echo. Echo. No, you ain't going. Yeah, Eggo my Echo. Lock this door behind me. I'm just gonna sit, sit on the front porch. No, no, Jesse, it's too dark. It's too dark. All right, you hear me good? Yeah. Sweet. It's a little bit echoey though. Ah. Well, I got you unplugged from the thing, so like, hopefully it stops. Ooh, M14. That's a nice rifle. All right, is it echoing now? Uh, test, echo. No, it's not. Okay. I got 18%. It should last me a little while. <laughs> a little while? I don't think that yeah, lasts very long. I mean, it, you know, it holds battery pretty good. It does, eh? So what about them gay people? <laughs> wow. I mean, some gay people are okay. They're funny, but some gay people are just like, "Wow, you cray cray." So a fat guy walked in the bar one night, and he said to the, the waitress, "He said, uh, you got a nice pair of Hooters.'" No. That's about it. That's funny. Yeah. You like Jeff Dunham? Jeff Dunham, who's that? Oh, is he the um the guy that does the puppets? Yep, sure is. Yeah, that guy, the one. You know, silence. I kill you. Yeah, silence. Yeah, yeah. We you used know, to you know, watch him. Uh, all the I grew time. up with him in Arabic, you know. Uh huh. Never met one that was bony like that. As much darker in here. <clears throat> nice night out. You been outside? Uh, yeah. Actually, I did go outside today. There's a bunch of stars out. Yeah. Beautiful people. You all should go outside. You know, Mother Nature is very good for your heart, you know? For everybody that watches Corey's streams, and for everybody who watches him on YouTube, have you ever felt threatened? Cause I think I have. Threatened? <laughs> Go I on. Felt, I felt like you were going to penetrate my butthole. Well, yeah. I've said that a couple times. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's never really happened yet. Oh god. Hey man, hey man, that's not cool. Let's talk, let's talk about Fallout. What are you doing in Fallout right now? How, how's that? What's your plan? Oh, I'm dying. That's my plan. Well, you better kill. You, you better kill that one lady in the bar you meet the first time. Hope you kill her. Eventually. You know how in Skyrim, dude, they got the mods. How, uh, you know, Brave. <clears throat> Brave? What? Yeah, the little kid, Brave, and the uh, White Run. Nope. Don't know. Well, this little girl, they have mods, uh -huh. especially just for killing her. <laughs> yeah, I know there's some mods for Fallout that you can kill the kids. Which I didn't know there were kids in Fallout. Yeah, there is. You didn't know that? No, I didn't. I bet you there's mods where you can get a child molester. I'm pretty sure there is little little kids in Fallout. I know they're in Skyrim everywhere, and, and there's mods yeah. for, to kill them. You know, my nerve. I can't stand half of them. 
<laughs> they're, dude, you ever, uh, when you get hearth fire, dude, and you, you can adopt them, they're so greedy. They're like, you bring me home something? And I'll be like, no, did you get your chores done? Yeah. They'll be like, no. I'll say, hey, then, you ain't getting nothing from me. I just took off this dude's clothes and, like, bam, stick everywhere. I'm a mean. I killed, uh, I killed their mom and then beat them. Yeah. And people don't like me in Skyrim. I would like you if you were in Skyrim either. Too bad we can't play multiplayer on that. I know, right? Multiplayer right. Skyrim would be... Right, right. Right. Oh. oh, this guy has an incinerator. Wow. Too much weight, man. Where's Eddie? I left him outside, didn't I? Good lord, I got like 50 varmint rifles. That's fantastic. How much money you got? 649 caps. Nice. That's you get a lot that money. good. You know, the other one I was playing uh, yesterday, I had like 40 something thousand. Dang. Uh, I've had a, a couple hundred thousand before. Most I ever I can remember having is like two thousand. That's only because I had to sell everything in my inventory to get into New Vegas. Wow! I really? tried to get robot. That didn't work. Are you like not that good at at Fallout that you just you're just horrible? Look here, Corey. Okay, we are gonna fight. Okay. All right, man. I don't know, watch, because Santa Claus coming down your chimney tonight, and you ain't going <laughs> to like the reason. <clears throat> Santa Claus, huh? Interesting choice. Yeah, you don't know? When he's off-season, dude, he's like a full-time rapist. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Th thanks for telling me that. Bucks, 200 bucks and a Hershey bar, dude. He'll do anything. Mm, and a Hershey bar. Oh, Oh, now, now you're yeah. playing with fire. And if I tell him you got seven Hershey bars on you, then he's going to be happy. Now you're playing with fire, my friend. I know, God, I like God they got I, dynamite up the ass. I'm playing with fire. Playing with fire is fun. It is. It really is. I love me some fire. The only fire I never like playing with is uh, that Allison chick. she got a lot of fire in her, and that's some bad. <laughs> that's a bad motherfucker right now. Uh-huh. She cray-cray. Indeed. And you know that big fat one that, that the, not the one that's sitting next to Allison, but the one that's sitting next to the girl who's sitting next to Allison. Oh, yeah, the one that sits to my left? Yeah. Yeah, what about her? She's a big biatch. <laughs> a big biatch, wow. Like, really, she's, like, she's straight up mean, dude. I wouldn't know. I was it. sitting there, she goes, you can't sit there. And I said, oh, uh, nobody else is sitting here. She goes, well, I don't care if nobody I sit there. Uh, nobody you sit there. You can't sit there. You're I've lying. never seen people. Did she really say that? Yeah, she. Yeah, she, I don't like her. <sighs> uh, <clears throat> some people. I know some people. I just don't like. I'd put them all in prison or send them back to Africa. Back to Africa? How do you know they were in Africa in the first place? Because they're black. Oh well. Then. <laughs> I'm joking. Don't don't take me seriously, guys. Whoever watches this, don't take me seriously. I love black people. I have a black cousin, you know. You have a black cousin? Yeah, he's a, he's totally just, lying, by the way, to everybody on YouTube. He's he's lying. I'm not really racist. I just like the joke. No, he's like racist. Jewish. You can fit a lot of them to a car if you put them in your ashtray. What? That doesn't even make sense. How do you fit a hundred Jewish people in the car? Uh, I don't know. You gonna tell me or what? You there? What happened? I think we lost the code, everybody. Yep.
Oh, we lost Dakota. We lost Dakota. We lost Dakota. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but... <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on, guys, while I try to sort this out. This. Ah, my internet's so bad that. That shit like this happens. So bad. Is he gonna call or am I gonna call? There we go. Good god. What happened, dude? I don't know. My internet's shit. That's what happened. Alright, so we're back. Mad, bro? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> you were like WTF. I'm like, <laughs> you mad. Yay, I found a bottle cap. Just one. Oh my god, look at her butt. She got a big old butt in my country. She's so like amazing. Like, no, okay. She's like, oh my <laughs> god. Who? She is a goddess. Oh boy. Danger. Whoa, buddy. Come on now. Danger, danger. Stranger danger. I should I should probably use my sight. Oh, I don't even have it. Never mind. When you're watching, like, you ever seen ridiculousness? No. Uh, You've never seen that? Nope. It's a TV show. Oh yeah. Well, I don't watch TV. Oh okay. Well, you know who Rob Durdeck is? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's that? Well, let's just say ridiculousness is like they play a bunch of videos that are like nuts, and uh, there's a lot of guys getting like slammed in their nuts. For real? You ever watch stuff like that and you just feel it, dude? You can't help but jump every time. It's like, oh, I've seen Christ. Jackass a couple. I've seen a couple of jackasses. Yeah, and then like every time something like that happens, you're like I can just feel it, dude. It's, it's, oh. Women think they got it rough. They don't even know the half of it. They're like, oh, we give birth. I'll get over it. That's like one day in your life. I know, right? And half of them don't even always do it. But guys, at least ten times in their life, they get kicked in the balls. And I'm really stretching it by saying just ten times because it happens a lot. <laughs> I mean, they're just open. Out there for everybody to see. I love how I'm um, so, <clears throat> Go on. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I said I... Whoa, buddy. All right, so there's this mod that I installed that makes everything, like, ten times more deadly. Like, the bullets you shoot are, like, an insta-kill almost to most people. And <laughs> I love that. I love that I don't have to shoot somebody 50... That's some dynamite. Okay. It says in my thing you're live. That's weird. Really, it does. Well, it like it sent me an email saying that Chris Drizzle just went live. Seven twenty-two. Oh yeah. Well, That's I did weird. go live for at one point. Good. All right. It's better though. Next time, hopefully, I'll be able to see the game so I can actually kind of commentate on what's going on. Yeah. Other than that, though, I'm just trying to make up funny stuff to talk about. We are not professional video commentators by any means. I mean, we're we'll get there eventually. We'll we'll get there, you know. And seeing the game helps a lot, you know. Yeah. But like Mark, yeah. them when they're doing like groups commentating and all that. I mean, they just talk about funny stuff, talk about stuff that's going on in the world, make fun of stuff. <laughs> they laugh at the game a lot, you know. You don't got to be good at it. You just got to know how to be funny. Yeah, that's that's the key. That's the key, man. The key to life. Yeah, man. I'm a hippie.
It's like your mom was so ugly when she looked out the window, she got arrested for mooning. For what? <laughs> for mooning. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay, so this is, um, this. My collarbone just cracked, dude. That hurt. Time. Temperature, 30.25C. Humidity, 28.10%. Wind speed, 19.2 knots. Altitude. Oh, shit. Oh, you downloaded one of those apps, dude? Or mods? Yeah. I love mods like the, that. Uh, Nevada Skies. It's like a weather mod where, like, um... Like it rains and stuff, and I I was just messing around and um, I came up with all the stats. Yeah, weather's mods are probably my favorite. Yeah, no, look, Kendra, you're not coming out here. I came out here to be by myself for a second so I could talk to my friend. Go. Jesse, you gotta go. You're not coming out here. Don't you love sisters? <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> That's funny. Huh? I said you gotta go. That's funny. No, I don't gotta go. No, I mean, like to go. you're telling you're telling your people like you gotta go, get out of here. Do you gotta go. <laughs> right? It's not uh, I don't know. Why don't you check, lazy? Anybody want a sister? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I mean uh, I'm gonna be like giving them away. Come on now. Hey, you want can be You can make more money off their organs. One fifty. One fifty, one fifty. Oh, your sister's like a gymnastic. She's worth a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Is that kind of jacked up? <laughs> I, I don't even know. I just took all that. Oops. You ever I wonder hate why the white guys can't jump? Uh, we can jump. I can jump. I mean, I can jump too, but come on now. I can't jump like a Superman. You can't jump like a black guy. No, I can't. I thought, see, I was going to say all that. I guess I've already overstepped that boundary a little bit, though. So. Cool. It's my birthday, man. Why don't you tell him how to birthday for one? I did. It's my dad's birthday, and um, apparently I haven't said happy birthday to him. Oh, I know that feeling. But I'm pretty sure I did. So next time I see him, I'll say happy birthday. To your stepdad? Yeah. It is, indeed. My stepdad. Yeah. I got my stepdad too. When I don't, you know, because I don't tell him Happy Father's Day and all that. Like, I didn't let this year or last year and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, like, I guess he's, you know, he didn't say anything to me. Tell my mom. My mom tells me, I'm like, you know what? <sighs> I had a dad or I got a dad. And... What happened to your dad? My dad passed away. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. It is, but I, I'm good though, you know. Mine left while. me when I was like four or five. Well, then you got, you know, I could, people who had their, you know, their parents leave or whatever. I can see how they would want to, you know, when they get a stepdad, you know, it's more somebody who's been more of a dad to them than the real dad. Then you know, there's nothing wrong with calling them dad. But you know, I had yeah. a dad. And he, I had a dad who was good, and you know, just you know, a stepdad, and when you actually have had, already had a dad, and you know what I mean. Yeah. But when you know when you haven't really had one, your real one ain't been all that. Then I totally think it's perfectly fine to, you know. Other than that, though, not that big of a deal. Life goes on. You just gotta keep on moving. Keep your head up. So I got this mod where um, it does all. It puts all these ingredients to make like bullets and stuff and everywhere like the primer the case the powder the lead all that shit yeah. and uh, I'm gonna start making bullets here soon sweet what kind of bullets um any bullets really whatever I'm using at the time so that's what I like about modding dude you can make the game really realistic yeah it, especially cause you know if if I didn't have the one mod that makes everything die in like one or two hits, you know, you would be spraying into people. You'd be like, you'd be wasting like thirty bullets on one dude. Definitely. Like, but um, so that kind of it kind of um takes away from the the point of making custom ammo. Yeah. I guess because you go through it so quick and you don't find enough parts. But 
Yeah. Well, how long has the mod been out there? Is it an older mod or is it kind of new? Uh, which one? There's. Like the one you're using, the bullet one. Oh, the um increase in damage thing, whatever. Yeah. That one. Well, usually, they update mods over time. They try to make them better. So that's yeah, I'm the saying. latest one is like 2012 or something. Yeah. It hasn't been updated in like two years. Or a year or something. That guy probably gave up. <laughs> That's a great mod, though. I love it. Dude, uh, when we get back to school uh, Tuesday, since we got digital media Tuesday, we should yeah. uh, work on making some thumbnails. Yeah, yeah videos. You, you gotta remind me. Yeah, I'll make sure of it. I'll try to get... Hey. Uh, go on. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I said I was gonna try and uh, upload one of these every day. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll be just, in like every or yeah. something like that. So we just got done with Prim, and uh, we're moving on. Moving on up to the east side. It's like, what y'all know about that? <laughs> I, I truthfully, I don't know nothing about that because I'm 16 years old, and that was what, 1970s, 60s? Yeah. They'd be like, I'm moving on up to the east side. Eddie, oh there you go. <coughs> we were poor black people. Now Echo. we're rich. Yeah. Did you move your tablet? You're echoing. Huh? Did you move your tablet or, or something? You're, you're echoing. Oh, yeah. I'm still now. I was kind of dancing. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we were watching a Michael Jackson uh, documentary earlier today. Mm -hmm. And it's freaking crazy, dude. All the stuff, like, that happened with them. Oh, my God. The echo is so bad. Oh, my God. Is it gonna echo on the video? Yeah. Oh crap, that's not good. It's, it's better now. <laughs> oh. Beautiful night here in Florida. Oh, I almost, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful night in Florida. Oh, I just Florida. hit that shot. Oh, I hit that shot too. Oh, nice. You're gonna love these shots I'm making in this video when you watch it. Hey, everybody in the video, all right? My name's Dakota Six, but look here. I'm known as Pit Boss. All right? Pit Boss, Pit Boss is my name, my gaming name. I've used it for years. So if you wanna call me Pit Boss, feel free. Uh, I'm usually, when I say, put, say Pit Boss, I usually have a bunch of numbers after it. I've always used two, two, three, four, five, four, five. That's been my numbers for years. But uh, years. other than that, you. Call me Pit Boss, or you can call me D6. My last name is Six, so you can call me D6. Call me the Antichrist, you know, something like that. Y'all make up a good name for me. Get, get, you know, get, the get me something. Antichrist. I'll leave it up to the viewers. Anybody, you want to call me Antichrist? You want to call me Pit Boss? Just want to call me Six, D6? Anything you guys want to call me? Feel free. Just call him DS. Anything you want to call me, I'll leave it up to the viewers. Viewers know best. I shot his gun out of his hand. Her hand. This red-headed chick. I think the key to gaming is really you got to get that name. Like, you get a good name, dude, you'll be good. Everybody will know you. Everybody knows you. You just got to get the good name. PewDiePie, he picked a good name. Funny, you know. That's why he's so famous. I, I believe his name had a lot to do with it. It's catchy. It's easy to remember. Maybe. Like, I think the whole thing with PewDiePie is his thing. <laughs> that really made him. Yeah. But, uh, like, Markiplier, too. Markiplier's got a pretty... I like that name, you Who's know. What's that? I've never heard of that name. I hope you're kidding, dude. Uh, I'm dead serious. You don't know who Markiplier is? Nope. You're lying to me. I'm not. Dude, I, oh my god. He's like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> I can't even explain it. How do you not know who Markiplier is? I don't know who that is. Everybody who watches this video in the comments. Put rage on uh, Chris here. What? About not who Markiplier is. Tell him, tell him. Y'all explain to Mark him how important Markiplier is to the YouTube community. Yeah. Like, he's better than PewDiePie, in my opinion. I might get a lot of for that, but y'all can kiss my butt. Love PewDiePie, I don't watch PewDiePie at all. I watch PewDiePie, but PewDiePie's thing is he does a lot of short videos. He doesn't do gameplays anymore, like walkthroughs, and he skips around a lot. He's more of a funny dude. You know, he tries to be funny and... I think like, that's perfectly fine. It's like the funny moments guy. Yeah, exactly. He's, you know, one of those guys you, you turn on, you know, to laugh. 
Markiplier is good because he has a lot of good opinion, dude. He's just like he's a good guy all around. PewDiePie's a good guy all around too, but like I'm not hating on him or anything. It's just like it, either you're in the mood for those short four ten minute videos that are just like crazy and funny, or you want to watch a nice walkthrough with like Markiplier. Sometimes he does do walkthroughs, but it's like a pain in the butt when he when he does because he skips so much. Yeah. Like he he did the. Uh, infamous last son or something and i watched that walkthrough all the way through and i thought it was really good it's probably one of the first walkthroughs i ever walk, watched with him and it's actually not that old and i thought it was good but if he did more of that i think we'd like watch him a lot 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 more even though i do watch him a lot already but i got two books i haven't read so let's read those I can't stand a hater. If you're gonna hate, that's fine. But don't don't you know be rude to somebody who's just trying to have fun and make a living and do what they love. That's just like be nice to people. Who are we hating? It's, I'm just talking about random haters and com you know in the comment section who just hate on people for no reason. Dude, I got one dude. All right, I got one dude. This is probably a couple weeks ago that said that he said, "Are you gay? Your voice sounds gay." I was like, "Really?" You see what I mean? They pick out stuff like. Anybody will make up anything just to try to hurt your feelings and put you down. The thing is, you do don't don't ever let them do that. Dude. Like, you're good at what you do, Corey. You're one of the better ones I've seen, dude. <laughs> well, you gotta be cool. You gotta be funny. You gotta have that voice that just goes through people and they want to watch it more. Yeah, I had you know, a good laugh at that guy. Yeah, you got that voice where you're like, "Hey, everybody, it's Corey here, or, or Chris, or whoever you're going as." But when you say it, you sound like a YouTuber. You sound like you you want to be there. You wanna you wanna you know have fun. Other people when they do it, especially people who are like real and about it, like they're like, "Hey guys, this is uh, <laughs> uh Dakota." You know, it's like, no, don't do that. You gotta be have fun, be exciting, make people want to come back and watch. You, you know. I could be a sponsor for like so many people on YouTube because I like I would put in the work and time to get their name out there. Like for you, like when I first met you, dude. Remember, I want to say the first time like we really because used to like me and you used to like mess with each other in class. Yeah. Or Mr. Bishops, but when you, we really started talking was when you said something about your YouTube channel or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, dude, I like this guy now. He's awesome. <laughs> well, I, I think I always liked you, but at first you came across like. A crazy kid who was getting kicked out of class, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, those are the days. I remember all that. Mr. Bishop used to kick me out all the time. Yeah, but other than that, I like you, and I tell people, I'm like, Corey's a good guy. Y'all can talk crap about him all you want, but he has a good heart. He's a good guy, and I'll kick your, I'll kick your ass for talking about him. <laughs> kick your ass. Yeah, exactly. A buddy. I love how you can just step on these guys. That's Eddie, what are you shooting at? Oh, it's dead now. How long is the video so far, man? I actually haven't been keeping track. And oh my god, it's dark. Okay, let's um put on some night vision. Put on that thermal. <clears throat> You're uh, on a plane? Huh? You ever been on a plane? Yeah. Is it scary? Uh, no, not really. I don't know if I would, like, ever want to go on a plane, dude. I've never been on one. It's like, ugh. It's fun. Nope. I don't like the thought of that, like... We've always gone first class. Like, um... Most people use go coach, or I think it's called coach. Yeah, like, I think... Yeah, I think... But if, right, you go, if you go first class, it's it's an amazing experience. It's really good. Because, um, my, my, my granddad only does first class. Because, you know, he's an older guy. And um, he's real prone to getting sick with since he's had the cancer and stuff. So, you know, being yeah. around a lot of people isn't, you know. Well, yeah, I, somebody, your grandpa, like your grandpa, though, who's worked really hard in his life, they, you know, they deserve yeah. first class. They have something nice and just relax, you know. Not to be so crowded and, you know, have room for themselves. Yeah, exactly. My grandpa is that kind of guy. He worked hard. He had money. He could have done anything or had anything he wanted because he worked so hard in his life. had you know, a bunch of money, had great credit. And he was, but he was, a, he was the kind of guy though. He, you know, didn't really have a lot of luxury. He didn't like, yeah, go out all the time for himself. He, he, you know, he's always, if somebody else needed help, he was always there to help him. And he, he always did. But he, you know, 
Best guy ever. He didn't ask for much, that's for sure, but he always gave. I've been to um, Hawaii, actually. Really? That's cool. Yeah, it, I don't remember that much because I was like... I don't know how old I was. I was really young. Probably like three, four, five, somewhere around there. Hawaii is a pretty uh, real beautiful uh, place. Yeah. Be crazy though if a volcano went off. I'd poop poop on myself. <laughs> yeah, I think I think um, that volcano there is still active. I think. Oh good God! Ooh, we Honolulu, baby. Yeah, that's the capital. Um, those you know they got the there's volcanoes and then like islands like that. My big thing would be if there was like a tsunami or a tidal wave that came through because those things you don't know when they're gonna hit, and when they do, it's just like it floods everything it just washes over the, everything dude it's like it's crazy but there's a movie about a family who uh they were out on a trip and like they everybody's having fun and everybody's playing in the pool and they're right next to the ocean actually the hotel and that tidal wave came through and it's just like it wiped out so much and it like, the family got broken up in the beginning but they ended up finding their way back to each other it's a true story it really happened to the family and I don't know, and stuff like that, stuff like that where families find each other after that or survive. It's just like you, I don't know. There's something out there watching over some like family. Something. There's a god somewhere, just exactly. I do believe there's a god. I truly believe. I've been through too much in my life. And I thought you were the antichrist. No, I just I like to mess with people. Oh, <laughs> this like whole them. time you've been <laughs> trolling me. <laughs> People actually, I mean, they'll be like, oh, you're lying, whatever, you're you're funny. And then, like, 30 minutes later, they'll come back over and say, let's talk about this some more. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's make sure this isn't, you know. Yeah, and I make up all that stuff. My last name, I love my last name. I was born on, on April 6th. I was April 19th. Oh, yeah, your birthday not too far away from mine. You got to come over to my granddad's for, for uh, my birthday. And I gotta come over to your house for yours. I definitely will. I, dude, you know how long it's been since I've had a birthday party? Oh, I love it. I've never had a birthday. Like, I have had tons of birthday parties when I was young. But I can't remember, like, the last one. I want to say I was, like, 11 or 12. Uh-huh. Probably, like, 12. And I just, like... And then every year after that, like... We'd get a cake and like kind of celebrate as a as a family, but we wouldn't invite like a lot of people over. Oh, dude, I love birthday parties. They're like the best thing about your birthday. I love it, but like, I don't know. I'm the kind of guy I don't really care if I have a anything or not. But I always, my mom always makes sure to get me a cake and hook me up with my present that I want. Yeah. But I, but having people over, hey, I don't. I never was big on that. Yeah, here you there. But it's fun though when you have a lot of family over. But we don't really have family here. It's all back in Michigan. Heck yeah, man! I love a birthday party. We're having one tomorrow for my brother. Really? His birthday's Wednesday, but everybody's busy Wednesday, so we're gonna do it tomorrow. Got a Spider-Man cake for him and a bunch of goodie bags for everybody coming over. And little things like that. It's gonna be fun. I, a little kid's birthday party is fun because I love cake. <laughs> I love the cake too. Cake is the, cake is like the best part. Oh, I know. I eat ten ten pieces of that cake. Oh my god. They had cake back home that we are for every birthday we ever had. We that's what that's the kind of cake we got, and it had a pineapple in the middle. Oh my god, it was so good. Vanilla and pineapple in the middle, man. Ooh, doggies. That'd make you want to slap your mama right there, boy. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Even though my mama might slap a little bit harder when she hit me back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it won't be a slap. It'll be a punch. Definitely. Or a choke out. <laughs> She'd be like, boy, well, you want to mess with me? Or something like that. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> she killed me. Good lord. You wouldn't see me at school no more, that's for sure. No, yeah, this is, I'd be missing. Missing person. <laughs> missing person's alert. Dakota Six went missing after slapping his mom. <laughs> oh man, I believe that too. <laughs> mm. oh. 
I think I see a little dipper. A little dipper, eh? Little dipper, big boy. Ten four. Uh, yeah, I'm calling a uh, big hoss over here. Yeah, I see the little dipper in the sky. Everybody look up. I see the little dipper. Being a truck driver would be amazing. Yeah. Maybe. You ever been to a truck driving joint where they stop off and eat and all that? Man, oh man, they got some good food. Like what? It's just like tons and tons and tons of food. But it's like the bacon and the sausage and the scrambled eggs. and Oh, dude, pan. bacon. I love bacon. <laughs> good, dude. They got it good there. Bacon they is stop. like the best ever. Good stuff. It's nice. I could be a truck driver for a little while anyway. Uh, you'd be you'd be sitting in your truck for like a week uh, a week straight. I think yeah, I know it. These guys, I, you know, they're they're hardcore with that shit. Yeah, I know. Well, the thing is, dude, they like they drive, and I think they're only allowed to drive ten hours, and then they have to take a sleep or go to sleep. That's uh -huh. like the law. You're supposed to get so much sleep and then drive, so you know accidents don't happen. Yeah. But other than that, man, pretty cool. It's My, just like uh, uh, Euro truck sim. Yeah. Just like My that. stepdad's uh, uncle is a truck driver, you know? Yeah. And pull in every once in a while, and he had, like, he was delivering meat or something, but there was a, you know, like, the bologna that has, like, the red wrapping around it? Uh-huh. He had tons and tons of that bologna, and we just got a bunch of that, and we got a bunch of bacon. So good. <clears throat> they carry by the load. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to hit that. So I think Ooh. now Ooh, I we got to go back and uh, buy a house. I need something to store all this shit. Oh, dude, I can't wait to see, see you buy the house. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Right now. Decorate it, making it look all good. Then kill the sunny chick. Dude, so um, like two months ago or a month ago or something. I don't know. I yeah. think it was before Christmas. No, it was after Christmas. My, um... Oh, my game just crashed. Son of a bitch. That's but, right. um, uh, my computer chair broke, right? Yeah. My fat ass broke the chair. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm using the, um, a chair, like, um, that we use in the dining room. Yeah. Because we have four of those, and, um, so I just used one of those. But now it feels like it's about to break. Huh. But it, You're not even, you lost a bunch of weight, dude. Yeah, I'm not even that heavy, like. Oh, you're not, dude. Did, like, I think I, it was after. This chair is old, though. This chair is like ten years old, so it's got a bit of wiggle in it. A little bit of wiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, jiggle. The um, where the back connects and the actual seat connects, it's not super solid, anyways. So. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. That happens over time, you know. One of these days, it's just gonna fall flat on my ass <laughs> oh really let's tell a story all right let's uh let's see here one time i was up north and like in michigan when we say up north that means like up north yeah. like in the woods uh -huh. and, uh, my grandpa had about 43 50 acres up there and we always went up there and we had a good time and some uh smart guy thought it'd be uh cool to throw some propane tanks in the fire pit Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> well, and they were, you know, they were empty, but they're still gonna let off a boom. Yeah. And, and oh yeah. Man, and we, me and my brother out there on the four wheeler, right? We're jumping hills. We're like, yeah, this is fun. And we hear, boom, and we're like, what in the god's name was that? And we're, I was like, just keep on uh, driving, man, because you know those idiots are stupid. They're out there doing something stupid. Yeah. And then we another, bam, boom, and it was like. We looked up in the sky, and there was a giant mushroom cloud. And, you know, the house wasn't far from the fire pit. My mom was in there cooking, and she said when it happened, she had, she looked out the, the uh, screen door, and she could just feel the waves on her face, dude, like it was going to, like, tear her apart. And just the mushroom cloud was crazy and freaking out. Uh, we drove up there. Everybody standing by the road shaking like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, Get away from the fire pit. Get away. But, yeah. Yeah, that was a funny day. My grandpa came back from fishing with the, the younger kids. Uh -huh. And he said, uh, we told him what happened. He was laughing. 
He was like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> So this guy wants 5,000 caps for this house. Pay him. I only got 857. Well, you, you, you're on a computer, ain't you? I'm not about to cheat that shit. <laughs> oh my god, it's thundering. Th Holy, there's lightning and thunder right now. Oh, sweet, dude. I love oh, this lightning is amazing. and thunder. Oh, there's a thunder. I hope you can What's hear your that again. I'm going to turn up my volume because it's kind of really low. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, dude, it's lightning and thundering. Hard. Pitch black, man. You ever play Red Dead Redemption? No, but I've seen videos of it. That's a fun game, dude. And there, you just reminded me about talking about the lightning and thunder. When it rains and there's a storm in that game, dude, uh -huh. it looks real. It's just like, it's sweet. Did a truck just oh. pass by your house? Yeah, man, that was a taco <laughs> truck. <laughs> that was loud as hell. Yo, Mexicans got a taco truck coming. Yeah, yeah. You know, down by where my granddad lives, um, he doesn't live too far from me. Um, they got, um, there's this, uh, liquor store, whatever, that people go to, and, um, and, uh, they got this little mobile taco truck. Is yeah. it good? I don't know, I've never tried it. I bet you Thanks it gives you the poop. Huh? I said, on taco trucks like that, they give you the poop. Yeah. They're dirty, that's why. Dude, you know those okay. nachos I had the other day for school? Yeah. Yeah. That stunk up the whole house with the bags. Oh my god. Yeah, I know I'm farting after that. <laughs> and they weren't just farts, they were wet and loud. A wet? Okay. They were some wet farts. They just sounded nasty. <laughs> Make your dog roll over and die. What are you playing? Me? Yeah. I'm outside, dude. Oh. Well, then. That way I can actually talk to you without being interrupted by freaking... Nah. So, do you know anybody who sells a house in Fallout? Nah, bro. Like, I, I don't... Know... I get my own house. Like, um... It's right here. Um, you'll see the video. But um, that's a long way. Like you gotta go all the way down. To uh, you gotta go, you know, di past Nipton. You know that way you go when you go down and around, and up into I know, Vegas. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know, you you start off, then you gotta go down the road, and then you gotta it's take a, big, a right. It's a long walk from, uh, like you said, Nimbus. It's a long walk from there to Vegas, dude. Yeah. Um, like it's right before Vegas. You take a right, and um, it's across the the water where the uh, the mod is, the house mod. It's a really good mod, yeah. but it takes a while to get to. I'm sure you can fast travel to it once you find it. Well, yeah. I'm trying not to. Well, I already I already broke the no fast traveling thing, but from now on, I'm not gonna fast fast travel. Yeah. You heard it first here. Famous last words, everybody. <laughs> I'm holding them up to it, guys. Yep. We're just gonna run everywhere. What's my um? Okay, so I'm curious. For people who watch this video in the comments, I want you to to tell me. Do you think Fallout Three or Fallout New Vegas is better? I want you to pick and tell me your reasoning behind it. What yeah. are the reasons for picking? And uh. What is your favorite gaming design company, like Rockstar, Bethesda, things like that? And who do you who who do you prefer and why? Oh, did I tell you mine? Mine's um Retro Studios. Retro Studios, yeah. You know, I them? like uh, nah, I've heard of them, but I, they make the uh, they make the Metroid Prime games. Oh, okay. Well, that let's see. That's why I never played Metroid. Oh my God, Metroid! Oh my God, so good. It's amazing. Uh, tell us your favorite, you know, gaming company or whatever and why and your favorite uh, Fallout and why. And uh, I, I'll have to say my favorite would be Bethesda, to be totally honest with you. I grew up playing it, playing uh, all the Elder Scrolls games and all that. Just That's my childhood right there. 
Shut up. And I, yeah. I'm, when I grew up playing PS1, whoever made Rayman, I'm not sure who made like Rayman and Spiral, but whoever made those games, love them. Cool, that was a nice shot. It is dark. It looks like it's black and white right now. <laughs> Wait till you see video? the video. Huh? What what time is your video going on? Um, I don't know. It's going to take a while to upload. You, you need to watch part, part two first. There's some important stuff there. It's over 30 minutes. It has to be. What, right now? Yeah. yeah that definitely is. Eddie's we'll cut. we'll cut it off here in a second. Yeah, when I get to Nipton, we'll cut it. And, uh, I'm pretty close to Nipton. I just gotta get there. So who's your favorite companion in, in New Vegas? Uh, oh, man, I don't know. You know the robot dog? Uh, Rex? Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty he's good. And, uh... I'm trying to think, it's been a long time since I've played New Vegas. Yeah, I think Boone is one of my favorites because I'll give him a, um, a Barrett 50 cal, which is a mod. Uh, the M82, I'll give him that. Load him up with some 50 cal and then he'll just spray, kill everything in one shot. That's great. <laughs> Eddie is one of my favorites as well. The little robot thing that you get that shoots the laser. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's one of my favorites. When you get to New Vegas, uh, in the first area you go to, not actually, I don't think it's the first. It's the area where you actually have to cross over into the into Vegas to like uh -huh. the it's part, you know, yeah. where the robots. Are. Oh, I died! No, I died! <gasps> no. That sucks. You know you what that restart. means, guys? That is going to be the end of this Let's Play. I'll see you guys. No, I'm playing. I said it was going to be a no death, but I kind of. God damn it. Should we end it here? Just, just start it back up, dude, and like end it when you are when you start it back up, and we'll make it to Nimbus next video. Uh, that was kind of a dumb death, because they exploded me. Kind of ambushed my ass. That was stupid. <laughs> That's all right. It'll make good for a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. We'll go till I get to Neptune, which is, I guess, further now that I have to restart. Oh shoot! <laughs> it's not that bad. On YouTube, I'd have to say my favorite uh, favorite less play player is would be have to be. Uh, Red Brad. Yeah, I know you say that all the time. My favorite is uh, Bash one two three four nine. I've never heard of him. Is he good? Yeah, he's. Oh my God, he's funny as hell. I've. It's been a couple years now that I've watched all of his videos. He was the one that got me into like Metal Gear Solid and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know Let's what Metal see. Gear Solid is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, I, that's up there in my top five. Top three, actually. Yeah, I like the uh, Rad Brad just because he's really a sincere guy. I think he really deserves, you know, how his accomplishments on YouTube. He deserves it all. Oh, get away, dude. this guy. He's worked pretty hard to get where he's at, and he's a nice guy, and he deserves it. Now, when I'm just want to watch a funny, crazy video, I, I like uh, like a Vanoss. Yeah, I used to watch Vanoss, but not not no more. He doesn't appear. Oh, I love him. He's like, he's pretty famous. He's got 10, uh, 10 million subscribers. I used to watch. Him. Uh, you ever heard of the Gassy Mexican? I've never watched him, but people talk about him a lot. Yeah, I have actually. I've never watched him, but oh, I've heard a lot about him. Alright, Eddie, get ready. Get ready to attack these guys. You know, this radar mod confuses me so much. 
<laughs> when there's like birds everywhere because you think the birds are the enemies but they're really not i'm surprised the birds even pop up on the radar yeah they're little I... orange dots or yellow yeah. dots it's realistic that they do though yeah right, we're so close to nipton but definitely, so you said something for your birthday. Said, for your birthday, yeah, I'll come over, man, hang out with you. That'd be sweet. What do you want for your birthday? <laughs> money. Money, 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 20 bucks. More than that. 500, couple thousand. New car. <laughs> you wish, bro. It's like I'm Paul. Yeah, my mom said she, was, she can, you know, get me a new car. You know what? You know what I really want? What? Another HTC One. Oh god. <laughs> and uh, the the M9 is coming out um next month on the first. The M9 is that a processor? No, cause you know they had the the M7, which was the first one, and then last year I had the M8. And yeah. Then the M9 is coming out. What is the M9? Uh, the next uh version, I guess, the next year. I mean, like, what's his job, though? Is it, like, graphics? Is it... It's just a phone. Oh! My bad, bro. You know, you know the HTC One M8 that I had? The, the phone yeah, that yeah, got stolen? Yeah. I was thinking of, like, a computer part. I don't know oh. why. My bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was a good phone, but... Yeah, dude, I had it for, like, three, two, two, three weeks. Somebody stole it shit from me. Somebody stole it from me. That was jacked up, dude. Oh, my God, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. Corey used to turn on all the TVs. Like yes, we were in the cafe. That was so that was so funny. And you know those old TVs worked too. That was that was a great thing. Cause you know so I would... have... Go on. No, you go ahead. Because you know I was in Mr. Bishop's room and I would turn his TV on and he would get real mad. He'd be like he'd be like, Corey, get out. That's funny how everybody knew it was you thought. Nobody knew it was me though until I until I told him, obviously. Yeah. You know, you know Sergeant Jackson. Yeah. Um, we were in his class. Did I tell you last year where we we was messing with him? I believe so. Yeah. And then he was like, that. he was like, who 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 did that? And then um, he would go to turn it off, and I turned it off before he could turn it off, and, it, and everybody was laughing. Oh my god, it's so good. So I'm here at Nipton, I guess. You are. Yeah, it's raining. It's pouring down hard, man. So I guess we'll uh, end it there. End of the video. That was, it was fun hanging out with you, talking to you. I hope we can do it soon. Yep. Yep. For everybody out there, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's nice talking to you, being able to share the experience with my buddy Corey here. And <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I loaded. It's no. Nice oh. Free drizzle. Me. What happened, bro? <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I loaded the game. Okay, well, I'm not that far off. You just do it again. Oh my god, I meant to save and I accidentally loaded. <laughs> we just did the outro, you butt. Yeah, we're still here, though. Okay, so, sorry, buddy. Cancel that outro. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Cancel it. Everybody's gonna be like, hold on. The video still has like 10 minutes. <laughs> the video still got 20 more minutes. What is this? Is it gonna take 20 minutes to get there? No, I'm like right here. I'm just gonna do some uh, repairing of my rifle. Um, let me get these. You there? I believe we lost Dakota. Hold on one minute, guys. I'll call him back real quick. Oh my god, this is the worst outro video ever. I, I want him to do the outro with me. Yeah, call me.
is the worst outro video ever. Come on. This is the worst outro video ever. <laughs> so, I don't know. The internet went out, I guess. But it's storming like crap out here. You almost remember? What? Are you almost remember? I am. Uh, I'm in the right now. Okay. Um, let me just, um... Make sure you say. <laughs> Alright, what, what'd you say? I said make sure you say. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Alright, so, um, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Um, stay tuned for part four, I guess. Part four, nice talking to everybody. Nice being a part of the Corey Griffin family. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Corey and getting, them, hopefully we'll get the most viewers. See y'all next episode. Yep, see y'all. Cheers.